So hey guys, welcome back to another weekly tech video. This week we're going to be checking out what tech I've got inside my rucksack. Now in America they call them backpack, bags, whatever you call them. Here we call them rucksacks in the UK. Um, so yeah, let's just delve in and have a look what exactly I've got inside my rucksack. So if we open it out, we've got like loads of little pockets and stuff inside. You can see I've got one pocket at the back, I've got another one there, and I've got another one here with also a little one here and some pen pockets on this side. I've also then got a main compartment there, but let's get into it one by one. Now one of the first compartments I've got is this bit at the front. Now I tend to use this bit for my charger for my laptop. That is not currently in the bag at the moment because I've been using it, so that would usually go in the front. That's literally what I put in the front, so. And I can't bother to unravel it just to put in the bag for this video, so. You get the gist, everyone knows what a charger looks like. Okay, so the main part compartment we've literally got is this one little pouch here. Now this pouch, I've only really had this pouch since the new MacBook Pro 2016 with touch bars come out because I need some way to carry all my dongles around. Now, my main hard drive is this one. It's a Lassie two terabyte hard drive. It's a Thunderbolt two uh, hard drive. And it's got the Thunderbolt uh, cable on the end there. It's a really, really fast drive, which is hence the reason why I bought it because I need fast drives. Transferring video files all the time can get quite annoying if you have a slow drive. I would definitely recommend getting a fast drive and Thunderbolt two is really, really fast. Now, because I've got the MacBook Pro, as I said, with USB-C, I need a USB-C adapter. This is where this guy comes in. I I actually picked this up with the MacBook and if you haven't seen my unboxing to that then you'll see me get this in that video but this literally just clips on the end of here and it gives me a USB-C enable. It looks really ridiculous, I, I gotta give it that but it's uh, it's there nonetheless and it's something I need because without this hard drive this is where all the music is stored, this is where all my videos are stored, all my thumbnails, this is my YouTube hard drive, all my YouTube stuff is on this drive. So the next thing we've got in here is a bunch of cables. I've got a USB type C to lightning cable. Now this is a godsend obviously when I'm doing my time lapses I do them all on my iPhone so having this cable is like a must and I use it every day. I've also then got my iPhone 7 dongle uh, just in case I decide to use some wired headphones I need this on me all the time. I've also got a micro USB cable which comes for the battery packs I have which you'll see later and also this camera if I do need to charge it and I've got a cable to charge it there. I've also got a backup pair of wired Apple earbuds, a spare micro USB cable, and if you guys remember the vlog where I opened two packages from Anchor, these are the small cable for lightning and the small USB. So I've, I've kind of got my three micro USB cables with me. These small cables are so handy though because I use it in the car, it's, it, it is quite handy, it's, it's really, really, really good. And the final thing I've got in here is the my Hutu. This is a Hutu shuttle. It's a USB-C to three USB plus a micro SD card slot reader. Now this is something, there it is. Now th this is something that I need because I need to use this SD card reader all the time for my videos because I got an SD card and obviously the new MacBooks don't have SD. So this is required and it's really, really good. It's, it's silver, it's a really nice design, it's, it's got the metal finish, it's exactly the same as the MacBook. And to connect this, just one single USB-C can give me all these different I.O. for my MacBook, which is, like I said, I need this and I use it every single day. So that's basically what is in my little travel pouch for cables and stuff. I use that every single day, like without that bag. I would be really lost and I wouldn't exactly know what I'm doing. Now we'll delve into the bag now and we'll go to the front pouch here. I have a spare tripod. Now this is the tripod that I bought with my uh, camera when I bought my new vlogging camera. And this is the Manfrotto tripod. I really like this. It's really, really, it's really robust and it, and it works really, really well. Recently though, I've been using the Gorilla tripod on there because I can get some really sick shots by wrapping that around. So I just changed them up. So if this tripod's on the camera, then the Gorilla tripod's in my bag and vice versa, depending on what I'm using at the time. So, so yeah. Next then we've got my Apple earpods. Now these change from being it's in the bag to in here. Uh, I do use these all the time. I use them in work when I'm like working at work, listening to music and stuff. And when I'm editing video, but I do prefer using the wired headphones when I'm editing video if I, if I can be in that situation because the, I need to hear the latency in it and it, I just feel like they're better quality wired because Bluetooth is a bit unpredictable. Next then I've got a battery pack. Now in this battery pouch I've literally got a, a lightning cable to charge my phone because that's the only thing I really use to charge this. Uh, and then also the battery pack itself. It's an anchor battery pack and at the top here you've got the free little light there to say how much battery you've got. It's the PowerCore 15600. So yeah, it's a 15,600 milliamp hour battery in this thing, which means I can charge my iPhone I think like four or five times, which is wow. I use that every single day, I, whether I'm using it in work or whether or not I'm staying over handles and I'll charge my phone overnight using it. I use it all the time. The next pouch, I didn't, I don't actually use this one, but I do use it if needed. There's nothing actually in there, but this is like a document one. So if I have pieces of paper, you know, like 
you know what I mean, like letters or whatever, I'll just put them straight in there. It's somewhere to keep them nice and straight and organized and away from everything else. So the next one sometimes isn't with me, but this is the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. This doesn't tend to be with me all the time, but this is where I would keep it if I did take it. If I go in on a trip or if I'm going uh, to Hannah's for like maybe more than one night or one night, then I will take this because I do like watching all my YouTube videos on here. I'm also looking at Duet Display app because with that I can plug a USB cable into there and plug that into my MacBook and this can extend as another screen for my MacBook next to the MacBook. So I'm eventually going to look at that. If you guys remember one of my recent vlogs, uh, I've got a little stand next to my desk and the company actually came back to me and said that they're going to send me out a mount. So yeah, I'm going to be getting a mount for it. So this might not be coming with me as much but that's where I would put it if I had to put it somewhere. And the final compartment then I've got is the laptop itself. Now I take this everywhere I go with me, obviously with YouTube and stuff I need it, I, grab, I really do. And yeah, I've got a case with it. So this is the case I'm using. I'm using a Plemo and it's a grey case. I found it on Amazon, it's really, really cheap. But what I like about this case is it's got this really soft cloth inside. Now when I bought this case, I didn't actually have a case on my MacBook, I just had a skin. But what this case will do is it will, it's like a microfiber and it's really soft, it's really, really soft. I mean, even if you're not gonna use this case for a MacBook, it'll come for like an iPad or a, a different, laptop it doesn't have to be but it's really really good but guys i'll put links to everything that you've seen in this video in the description so you can go and check this out and then finally we've got the macbook itself as you can see it's like reflective because i've got a clear case in it now because i dropped it as you know and uh, i was freaking out about it but I've, i'm protected now i'm very well protected i've also got a skin on there it's a wooden skin and um, yeah we customized that in one of my vlogs but yeah, that this drives all my YouTube videos. I've said before, I use this laptop in every single video I edit. All these videos, even this video, is going to be edited on this laptop. So yeah, this is the powerhouse for my YouTube channel. But you don't need a MacBook. You really don't need a MacBook. You can get a really good Windows computer that can edit videos. You don't need that. Some people even vlog and edit on their phones. But yeah, that's what's in my bag on a daily basis. I know people see it in my vlogs. They see me grab it in my car and put it in my car and I'm taking it with me everywhere I go. I take it to work with me everywhere I go. I go to work to Hannah's. So yeah, I literally use this bag all the time. Everything inside my bag has a value, has a place, has a reason. And yeah, that's my bag. That's where I take me everywhere I go. Links are down below for all those products, guys. And I'll see you in next week's tech video. Goodbye. I'm so, I'm so